my name is Dennis Wanjala. I coordinate uh, reproductive health services in Samia. We are based at Siopot District uh, Sub County Hospital. Some parents do not take their role uh, to teach their children. So we wanted the peer educators to be equipped. We equipped them with the knowledge for three days and we expected them to pass it over to the rest of the students and also to help them in the case they are in a problem. We teachers at primary level, you see it is the beginning of adolescence, so it is very challengeful. We meet at a central place and um, at least have education. They educate us on various topics that uh, uh, is that are fit for, for the adolescents, like abortion, teenage, um, relationship, uh, such topics. HIV AIDS, which is now the common one. Uh, it's the sexual issues. People take them as their as private. So people suffer in secret. And uh, when they know there is a way they can express their problems, then it shows that we are heading somewhere. You see, sometimes back we used to fear, we could not say we are menstruating also. But this time, we are seeing girls free. They can come and ask for pads and so. So it's, it's really good. We've made um, clubs. A school level, we do have, um, we do meet with these uh, organizers. Uh, when they've organized, we meet at a central place. We are able to com communicate with these girls freely because when you go to um, uh, meetings, we communicate freely. The challenges that we are facing are the rumors and the misconception, and that's why we are targeting men, because some of the rumors and the misconceptions, they originate from them. Like uh, someone is saying that if you are inserted an IUCD intrauterine uh, device uh, for family planning, it will uh, travel to the heart. So that's a rumor, and it is a misconception. So we want them to understand that when they are done, maybe BTL, the tube application, a, a woman will not work because of backache. So the woman will, is not able to work. Using family planning uh, will lead to giving birth to abnormal uh, children. Those are the rumors that are in the, in the community. So iwapo sisi tunaingilia kutatua shida, tunajaribu tu kuimarisha na kuwapatia maelezo zaidi. Lakini tangu tuanze, saizi community na kuwa empowered. Tunafanya kazi karibu sana na ofisi ya watoto. Tunafanya kazi karibu sana na ofisi ya interior coordinators, the administrators, the chiefs. Tunafanya kazi karibu sana na police na mashirika mengine ambayo yako katika uimemi. Criminals, most of the time, we live on the side of the police to handle. But on civil nature, trespass, land issues, 
gender-based violence inajaribu sana sana kiwezekana tuzimalizie hapa cases mingi zikipelekwa kotini kuna time wasted and then cost iko juu so we advise as paralegals to try our level best to handle cases at our level What we did, in fact, with the paralegals, in fact, I was using them as community policy. We were meeting after a month, we meet and review and see the problems we undergo. So, in fact, they have assisted us very much. Yeah, we always use them to educate the public how they should handle these uh, different cases. When we came here, they were on the rise, but then we have, reduced, we have tried to reduce them. Awareness in poor so high. People have already known the cases that are criminal cases and civil cases, so they can differentiate. Cases that are total pafisi, Zimepungua, Puliko Vile, Lokoa, Penny. And we normally partner the way he said, we refer to this office and other relevant offices. We go to the barazas, we tell them the succession issues, the land issues. Nauliza maswali, mahali ambapo hawelewe. Kwa hivyo right now, in this area, in this cover, catch me here. Those cases are reduced. Watu ambao natoka beaches, kuhivyo na tabia watu kuhuze kununua samaki, wanabadilishana na sasa na mapenzi. Lakini vile walivyo fundisho wakajua, hakizao, mtu anaenda anunue, alafu, hauze bila kutoa ngono, kufanyua ngono au kutoa kazingina ambazo zineza kuwa mbaya. Wamefundisho ya kajua ya kuwamba watoto kufanyishu wa kazi huko chini baharimu ni vibaya. Mifikia mahali ya mbapo tunawana hasa watu wenyewe. Wanajua kudai hakizao. Kwa sababu ya awareness na wanawake tulikuwa very much inferior. Tulikuwa tumenyanyaswa, tumimpressed, hakuna mwanamuke alikuwa na jitokeleze. Lakini mimi last year kwa hizo elections mimi nili participate. Nilijua umuhimu wa kusaidia community. I wanted to help my community. Kwa sababu wanawake walikuwa menyanyaswa kwa wingi. So, nika sema lazima hata mimi nitokeze. Nika, nika vai kama world representative. Nika waje na batu wako wangi na lakini vini minajua tu nilikuwa mshindi. So, <laughs> na batu wa yuko kwa siyasa lakini mimi nili uwa na jipatia current because kwa watu wanaume wote nika jitokeze. So, that is a human. So, Ninaona haya mafunzo ya menipeleka mbali. Kama mimi nilifiwa mme na nikaweza kunyangani wa vitu, lakini badaye, badaye kujua haki inifine nikafatilia. Tuseme mme wangu alikufa kacha pesa kidogo, lakini zilifuatilua kanyuma nikafuja nikafuatia nikafuatia. Badaye nikawa na shamba, ambalo halikuwa nimefanyiwa subdivision. Nikaenda nikafanyi official search. Nikaja nikafungua kwamba hili shamba hakika halikuwa upande wangu peke yangu. Lakini kupitia hile hali ya kujua na kuelewa, nilienda nikafanya subdivision. Na kwa hivyo nikajua kwa mba na saidi kupita hapa bila kukosana na mba. Kwa hivyo naendelea nikisistiza kwa mba, haki za wajane sita kuma kuzitetea sababu mimi nimepitia hiyo hali na ninajua uchungu liyomo katika wajane. Kwa hivyo wajane huwa nasimama na ukila wa mahali na kila wakati ili kusimama na kuwatetea ili wakapate haki za hali. Tuliona sana kulikuwa na shida upanda ya kuandika wili na kujua umuhimu wa wili ni nini. Lakini sasa, tulianzisha hao mafunzi awareness kwa hao kwa watu, wakajua importance ya wili, na ni mtu gane naandika hiyo wili. Na ikiandiko itawekwa wapi. Sasa tunawafunza kujua wili ni nini, na inatakikana. Baada ya kifo, ukiwa na wili, wakati wa succession, hakuna shiba national level, and then security. The security of our people and properties. And then we have health. Under health we have community health workers and community health committee. So community health committee, normally they come from this office. They elect uh, village elders so that they through them we can coordinate the activities in health through the community health workers. So that's how we network. So this is just the structure. 
we have in this office. Besides other duties we do as the assistant chief. Sisi kama community tulikuwa tumetengana na watu kama askari. Kwa maana mtu ukimwambia kwenda kwa police station ilikuwa sida. Anaogopa hata akiwa na sida kwenda huko kuripoti anaogopa atasibu. Na tumeona sasa wakati tulienda kwa mafundisho na tukaingia kwa community kufurishana watu wameshaelewa tuko na uhusiano kati yetu community na police. It is my feeling that the only way people can benefit from devolution is if they know what is really happening. Mm -hmm. And for me, devolution is not just about what the county is doing, but devolution is also about the organizations that are working in the county mm -hmm. having their presence felt mm -hmm. and their work being seen. Because if you come to talk to my counterpart in health, it means that what you're doing is complementing what the health sector is doing in government. Mm -hmm. And therefore, your work needs to be seen and known to the people out there. Help us to reach out to people, even through the churches, because you said the churches are instrumental at this juncture because they have the masses. Mm -hmm.